It's turning out to be a pretty busy day. Just got another flash drive here, Lexar. Lexar 16 gigabyte with that little swing arm action going on. Uh, a lot of times what will happen to those flash drives is they get flexed because that uh, swing comes out too far and you know it just is just asking for trouble. Uh, I'm gonna get it underneath the microscope, have a look at the inst what, what things look like inside. Usually it's either a controller based on uh, AU type controller or it's a SAM type controller. Uh, AU type controller is usually the recovery is a little bit more complicated than uh, with the silicone motion. So I'm gonna try my best to fix the device first. So uh, you really do need to have a good uh, microscope to inspect that because you need to get up close and personal with that controller. And you also need to have precise enough tools to uh, make necessary uh, repairs um, underneath the microscope as well. Uh, in order to reestablish connection if the controller did decide to break away. So let's get it checked out uh, and see what we're dealing with. So this is the top view where the connector would have been originally. I just had to remove it specifically for uh, the reason to see what's underneath it. And this is the controller side. So we only have one NAND on there and it's on the connector side. Because uh, the device got flexed, I want to pay extra attention to all of the headers that are on the uh, controller. Um, just to make sure that they are attached, I'm going to probe them a little bit. Uh, because that, um, those headers that I'm, I'm feeling right now, they're actually on a flex point. If you look at the bottom, uh, you can see the, the little divots where the um, uh, PCB has cutouts. You see those U-shaped cutouts? So those cutouts are in place so that the housing can hold the um, uh, flash drive without having it slide out. But uh, that also makes that point. Oh, there we go. You see that? That pin just moved. I can see it way better in the microscope then the camera can capture it. Uh, the glass in the microscope is way better than, than the camera's sensor. That too. So because of that flex point, uh, best thing would be to uh, just remake all of the connections. All the connections uh, on, the, on all headers for the controller to just, just put new ones in just to make sure that it's nice and solid. So just gonna go gently one by one, redo them all. And I'll probably do the other ones as well on other sides just for safety measures. And now you see those two are very nice and strong. So let's uh, have a look at the other ones. Yeah, this, I'm not sure that that would come loose but uh, it might it might need it might need some uh, extra solder as well so i'll just dab a bit more here and here as well so I'll just just to be sure it, it i don't think there is a problem with these ones but to be 100 percent covered on all of these aspects it's best to just pay a little extra time and reinsure that everything is attached because all it's going to take is just one header is going to be disconnected and that if that is a vital signal well communication will stop so now flipping it back to the connector side i cut the connector specifically so that uh we can have clear access and view to everything that may be potentially uh, be wrong uh, underneath it. Uh, the connector was bent, but it, I couldn't really tell if it was making proper uh, connection to the board or not. So when in doubt, I, I, always, I always remove it because I got a bag full of brand new connectors and it's only going to take a few minutes to replace it. So. 
and it actually is going to be replaced in a way that the flash drive can can be used again if this turns out to be a solution with those two pins that were moving earlier i'm pretty confident that is the problem and that's what's going to need to be uh, taken care of so let's see right now i feel like uh that that um episode in terminator 2 when they're when they break into this garage and sarah is pulling uh shrapnel out of uh terminator's body that's how I, every time i pull these anchors remaining anchors from these holes this is that's how i feel it's like you gotta grab it with the tweezer and pull it out here we go Gonna do one more. Come out. There we go. Just gonna add a bit more solder in to the anchor holes so that the um, wick can pull it out nice and clean that's nice perfect there we go so now this flash drive is ready for the new connector just let me clean this up real quick there we go. So this board doesn't have two, uh, two alignment holes for the connector. So I'm going to have to cut them off from the connector. They're like kind of like a navigation pins, guide pins or whatever they called, so that the connector sits proper and aligned. <clears throat> Where are they at? So here is the uh, brand new connector and those are the those two pegs right there is what I'm gonna need to cut one and two and now this connector actually goes into anchor points flush and sits really nice just gonna secure it That was a lot. <laughs> okay, let me grab some of this off. This is what I hate. I need to get some of these like smaller needles um, for the syringe. So every time I just apply a tiny bit of pressure, a whole gang of solder of oh, flux comes out. There's one. There, there's another one. It may not look pretty because everything is covered in flux, but we don't need pretty here. We just need it functional. Just need it working and giving access to the data. <laughs> and that excess um, flux can be used for, for the headers of the connector itself. Well, that's pretty much it guys so I'm just gonna make sure this is all attached there we go yeah time to power it up looks good to me final inspection So the flash drive is now fixed and the data is being transferred. So uh, if you like the presentation, definitely hit like. 
If you lost your data on the flash drive and you need uh, your data recovered, don't forget to check out the link in the description. Uh, that's how you can get in touch with us and uh, fill out your form so we can help you out. Also, if you're interested in data recovery, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I do daily videos regarding everything that involves this lab, uh, whether it's flash drives, hard drives, phones, and other stuff that holds data that people lose and they need it back. For uh, those who are following my channel daily, I thank you guys once again. You've been nothing but great. I uh, enjoy reading all the comments every single day and sometimes I may not have time to reply to all of you, but uh, when I do have time, I jump on there and I type away. So thank you. I feel like this is really bonding experience with those who appreciate what I do and I, I have uh, nothing but gratitude to express towards that. Thank you so much, guys. Big thumbs up. I will see you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned for a new episode. Uh, it's uh, almost weekend. Actually, it is weekend when you're watching it. And yeah, I'm going to go uh, get a haircut.